hello, hi. Uh, I would like good. to start. Uh, yes, uh, how are you, my brother? Very good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, I would like to just say uh, first of all that uh, would you rather uh, spread uh, uh, some a message that uh, teaches uh, Muslim? Uh, I mean, if uh, just I have to put the charger on my computer. Yeah, <clears throat> if you were um, under the knife of uh, an extremist Muslim who believed that. Uh, you have to be killed because you are apostate, okay? Would you rather me helping you and say, no, no, you are wrong. Islam doesn't teach this, okay? Even if you don't believe, would you say that, oh, the perfect devil is right? At that point, right. I would say, at that point, I'd do anything to get out of that. Yes, you would say that. The, and for the sake of those apostates who might be killed, okay? And those, uh, you know, you said your friend uh, didn't believe in wife beating and such things, okay? And then after he watched this, uh, you know, I don't know what to say about him. This uh, uneducated Halkachu. Then he started to believe that there is wife beatings and you know all uh, other stuff. So he might go and now from out and beat his wife. So would you rather, uh, you know, help people like me to, you know, to teach them that no, these are wrong. This is, for example, the verse you were uh, pointing out about cutting off hands from opposite side yeah uh, i would like to tell you uh first just, cha just, before, chapter just, just before you go I, I just need to say pamela yes. henderson is, is saying asking me to say allahu akbar okay i've said allah oh, okay, okay. Yeah, sorry, go. <laughs> all right so my brother chapter 3 verse 7 quran says that there are precise verses in quran that everybody can understand and unspecific verses of quran that not everyone can understand it is only allah and those firm in knowledge how those firm in knowledge will understand it by reading quran and then putting the verses beside each other and, and get the uh, the right understanding of it for example the verse you were reading uh, the the chapter uh, chapter 5 verse 33 okay mm. it doesn't say the punishment for them is this it says the recompense of those who fight allah and his messenger and seek to make corruption in the land is that there they be killed or crucified uh, or the hand their hands and feet be cut off from uh, alternate sides so it is a um, passive verb okay it is not an order that muslim uh, do this and now look at chapter 7 verse 1 122 Quran explain it, who does it to them? They do it. Those who live by sword, they die by sword. This Quran says that it happens to them because chapter 7, uh, uh, verse 124, Pharaoh says, okay, I will crucify, uh, I will crucify you, cut off your hands and feet on opposite side. The, uh, sorry, uh, uh, no, he said, I will certainly cut off your hands and feet on opposite sides, then crucify you all. Then chapter 20, verse 71, again, Pharaoh said, he said, have you believed in him? He's talking about Moses. Have you believed in him before uh, talk, uh, taking my permission? He is surely your great one who has taught you magic. So I will cut off your hands and feet from alternate sides and i will crucify you on the trunks of uh, palms okay the, uh, i don't continue the rest but this is what the pagans role uh, rules and this is what they were doing to each other so it's not uh, an order that uh, muslim crucify um, you know somebody uh, it, quran says that release the, there is a noise i think uh, from your side yeah, there's, no, there's no noise from my side. Okay, now when you talk, it disappears. So, uh, yes, I was saying that uh, Quran says that when you capture uh, prisoners of war, you have to, uh, you know, treat them well, and then you have to release them uh, for a compensation. Okay, and uh, even the slaves. So another one, you were talking about cutting off hands of thieves. Okay. 
This is absolutely, absolutely. I'm gonna, so before we move on to that one, before we move yes. on to that one. Yes. So, this, so, uh, so, so you gave this, you said that because pagans were doing that, besides you gave the reference of Pharaoh that lived yes. nearly 2000 years before. Yeah. And um, I don't think I've read any evidence of um, uh, the Qureshis doing uh, cutting off hands and feet of, of opposite ends. So the argument on the other side is that these are the same Sharia that, that Muhammad actually reintroduced. And yes, Pharaohs were doing that. The Egyptians, it, 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 it's a known knowledge that the that they that the Jews who used to apply the same um, the same punishments and Muhammad renewed them. Romans and, and Romans. Romans, yeah, Romans they were yeah, crucified. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So so even even the Sharia was not actually Qureshis were not doing these things. But again, the point is, even if let's just say they were doing it. So I'll give you the answer. We know the Taliban stone people and they that they, they cut off hands and feet and whatever. Now Americans when they went in by your logic that the logic that Allah gave that since they do this so that's why you can do that too no 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 no, no. I said, no my, my brother I said it is a passive uh, you know verb it is not an order that we do it say it what, what happens word? to them what do you mean it, you mean, know, what, what do you mean? it is it is that a passive verb. I say that it is not an order that we do. Okay. It's it's something that happens to them. I told you that you live by sword, you will die by sword. But it doesn't mean that I am going to kill you. You know, this is what it uh, says that it says that a penalty for those who wait. No, no, war. that's a you you know it, here. It's not another. Just, you know, it's another. not just no no another. no. Uh, Yes. Okay. Look, that's a translation. Not, that's a wrong tra translation. This my is the agreed upon translation of so many scholars. This is everywhere. It's been. Let me. All let's right. open up. Let's okay. open up. Let, let's open. And again, sorry. Just, just before we go. It's back. a friendly, by the way. It's a friendly, like two I brothers. Know, okay. Friendly. I know, okay. I know, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Let yeah. me. Let me just read every freaking translation that we can get. Okay. okay? Let, let's just see that. Because right. I, I've read this in, I've read commentaries on that, classical scholars, everyone. And okay. my brother, you, you're, the goodness of your heart is trying to make something else. Okay. Indeed, the penalty for those who wage war. Indeed, the punishment for those who, wage, who fight a land. Okay. Those right. who fight against a land is messenger and run about trying to spread. The recompense of those yeah, who yes, wage exactly. war. Yeah, the recompense. yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yes. but recompense still does not absolve you, absolve you right. from... The prescribed punishment. The moment you start cutting off hands and feet, this is no, this is not a, this is not a benign command. Right. The punishment for those who wage war, those who fight against Allah and His Messenger, and run uh, about trying to spread disorder. Surely the only recompense of the ones in the bracket recompense. I don't know where you're taking the recompense meaning right. as a passive verb or whatever. Okay, it's still the prescribed solution for those who fight. That's the punishment. But, and but, CCP can apply the same logic. Okay. Okay. You have to know that no Muslim on this planet accept that we take man-made laws. Okay. And Quran explained that these are man-made laws by Pharaoh. They were, you know, practicing these man-made barbaric laws. So Allah that's would not. never take they, their laws. Okay. That's, and, not and, that's not what they're saying. All right. Okay. Another, now so, I, I so, would, so why, why, is, why is Allah saying? That Allah says that what, it happens if they don't listen to us. Why is it? Why is it saying that those who fight against Allah? So Allah is, if Allah is saying that this is what the uh, the pharaohs and all those guys used to do, so obviously Pharaoh doesn't want to punish those who fight against Allah. This yeah. is saying those who fight against Allah. So even if okay. you say, okay, let's just say this is not Allah's law. This is not Allah's command. This is yes. the view of pharaohs or whatever. But yes. why is here Allah saying, applying the same? This is like me saying, or China saying, okay. those who fight against China or CCP are about, uh, 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 their hands and feet be cut off. Because they would say, well, we, we, this is not our law, but because mm -hmm. Muslims used to do that, these are other people's laws. We're just applying, returning the okay. favor. We're doing right. the same thing. So, okay. This is, uh, this is what I explained for you, and you can take it uh, how you want sure. it. And then about the, the cutting hands of thieves okay yeah, yeah, yeah. All, right. Uh, all right so this is also uh, a misinterpretation yeah. of uh, uh, uh okay well you are checking all right now if you are checking the translations okay let me uh, ask you to tr check translation for chapter 16 verse 83 can you please do that so that i can tell you how they translate chapter 16 verse 83 
how these uh, people translate Quran. No, no, no. If they if they made a mistake somewhere else, I don't. I'm not interested about no, that. No, I will. I will at first, I will. So because you are going. To I'm use, interested in this one. Okay. I mean, you are going, yes, you are going to. Yes, you are going to. Yes, you are going to translation. But I was talking to this Farid as well. Okay, and uh, because the chapter five thirty eight. Uh, chapter 5 verse 38 says yeah, that, that's the one yeah. yeah yes chapter 5 verse 38 says that uh, uh what is it after that allah says that and if they for uh, repent allah will forgive them okay sure. and then next chapter uh, next verse allah says that did you know that uh, allah can forgive or punish anyone who he wants so i said to this farid okay that if the punishment is chopping of hands all right then if they repent how can allah forgive them when you have you a barbarians like uh, taliban isis have chopped their hands off how it's like that you pass the red, yes I you agree. pass yes you pass the red light the officer catch you take your license and then give you a thousand dollars ticket and you say oh officer sorry i <laughs> forgive me i i don't do it anymore the officer say okay i forgive you but go and pay the the fine and then i go and get new driving license what kind of logic is that okay yeah i'll tell you oh, i'll tell you what, right. i'll tell you what kind of logic is that because okay. this is clearly one of the silly mistakes that uh, the author of the quran made because i'll tell you okay. in in the, if you go back 533 here it says indeed the penalty for those who wage war against Allah and his messenger and strive, strive uh, corruption hand feet cut off opposite end exiled from the land that is for them a disgrace in this world and for them in hereafter as his punishment hang on okay let me find out let, let, I think there was another one. except for those who return repenting before you overcome them so before so if they, they have to repent before they get caught that's the uh, uh, repenting part is before you overcome them now you can have a look at these translations everywhere else okay. as well. so it's not so allah is only going to forgive right, you if you if you voluntarily give up your position and you say hey look i stole but again we have these hadiths that actually uh don't apply uh, i i know you're you, uh, are you from a shia background no i i uh, okay, so, I, I'm a so, converted Muslim. I, okay, okay. I don't okay, like so, so I'll, 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 I'll give you this. I'll give you this. A woman from Janiyah confessed before the Prophet. She confessed she had committed adultery and she said, I'm pregnant. So the Prophet called her for, for her guardian and said, be good to her. And if she gives birth to her child, then tell me. So she voluntarily came and she repented. And even here in the Hadith, it says, um, uh, oh, Umar bin Khutam asked, oh, Messenger of Allah, you stoned her. Then you prayed her. He said, she has repented. A repentance that. Mm -hmm. If distributed among 70 of the people of Medina, it would have sufficed them. So this woman re repented. She came to Muhammad and said, hey, look, I've committed adultery. But Muhammad still stoned her to death. So okay. even here, this is very clear in the Quranic verse. It says, if you uh, you need to repent before you are caught. So that's why the thieves won. That's why Muslims use that example. They said <laughs> thieves' hand, hand should be cut off unless he before he's caught. Okay. And then he how, 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 they, how they know? Because you repent to God. You don't repent to Prophet Muhammad or no, no, to uh, anyone. Yes. So how no, they no, know that he didn't repent? repent. No. These this, this hadiths are to show that. yeah. These hadiths are trash. Okay. Uh, oh, for go. me. All right. No. No. These are, I, I tell you that. Hadith, I have hadith. to go by your hadiths again. Yeah, again. No. All right. My brother. Hadith. Brother. But, but yes. very quickly, I got to wrap it up because I've been going for for a while. Yeah, yeah. But I, I would say, look, I have no problem. And you ask me the question at the start, if there's a jihadi who's about to behead me, I would say, hey, yeah. look, this guy would perfect dawah is saying that's the real Islam. You don't have to kill me, but you, you would still have the hardest work in front of you at that point because you would not be able to convince that guy that yeah, will, your version of Islam is the right one and his is not. Yeah. Bring bring this Agadju, please. <laughs> I will uh, prove you that he has zero knowledge of Islam. Yeah, okay, well, let's uh, let's cool, let's let's do this uh, five thirty eight as well. Okay, uh, and then we finish it. Okay, uh, all right. This uh, 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 what is it? Yad has been used because it says Qat ul Yad. All right, uh, in Arabic. I don't know. Uh, you know Arabic a little bit or not? No, no, I, no, I don't no. know. But Qat uh, ul Yad, you understand perhaps? Do you understand? But is uh, yeah. That is uh, cut, yad is hand, okay? And yad has been uh, used in Quran 120 times and not always is physical hands, okay? And that also has been used uh, many times. I have, I actually, more than a year ago, I had a, uh, uh, you know, Facebook um, post about it, okay? 
and uh, uh, I let me see. It is um, chapter two, verse one hundred, and spend the way Allah. Uh, no, I, it's not that. I'm looking for a, for a uh, you know for a verse. Uh, I have okay. For example, that is uh, used uh, in chapter two, two hundred fifty-five. Are other meaning for yad that uh, translated uh, to cut uh, is used by in Quran. But anyway, uh, because it's very long, uh, I don't uh, have to. Uh, for example, yad is Allah has also yad. Okay, it says that Jews uh, try to um, uh, what is it? Try to chain Allah's hands, okay? But their own hands is chained, okay? So, Haris, where are you? <laughs> I would like to talk to you. Uh, so, it means that Allah has hands, and some, un unfortunately, some scholars are so, uh, you know, ignorant that they Allah has hands because Quran says, "Excuse me, Allah, it is Allah's power." I don't know if you have seen this. Uh, there was a clip somebody sent me. Some of them say that Allah has finger, Allah has, you know, because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, hadith say Allah has finger. And Allah says in Quran, Allah has two hands. So right. it is not Allah's hands. It is, it is uh, you know. Uh, it's a metaphorical not, explanation. Yeah, All right, we exactly. get that. I got to wrap it up. I, 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 I got to finish it. Let me, I got to watch let this speak again. Yeah, yeah, let me finish it <laughs> here. I, and, I value your opinion. Yes, yeah, I know. And then uh, I don't... Uh, you know, there is a uh, verse in Quran that I don't know if you have seen, uh, heard that, that uh, where, where this uh, owner of Joseph, peace be upon him, that woman, she uh, invite her friends, okay? Uh, I, I can find it for you maybe next time if you would like. She invite her friends and give them a knife and, uh, you know, a, a fruit, yeah? And then she asked uh, uh, Joseph to enter. When Joseph enter, they stop doing uh, peeling okay but the translation it is exactly in arabic says yad, okay exactly the same thing about the thieves yad. but here they translate it as they cut their hand or their finger ah. they don't say they chop their hands okay how come here they cut just and it, they didn't even because it doesn't make sense after that they started to say oh praise be to allah oh such an angel oh such a beautiful you know how uh, you know, a creature. They didn't. Say, Quran doesn't say a single word about that. They scream. They because it's naturally they do that. But anyway, I don't want to uh, keep you long. Uh, I would uh, love to. You you know, very much. Please I, try, I, try to try to bring this Hajjaju. Then I will show you that he yeah, has no. I can't. Yes. I can't. Hajjaju has been running away from me ever since. Yeah. The, the <laughs> or somebody anyway. like him. You know. I will yeah, show you, you that they have zero knowledge uh, of Islam. They they don't know anything, you know. Wow, and wow, unfortunately, they they they, they, sp so. they spread you know they spread corruption. They spread the, you know they are for me they are uh, we, we we got your point. We got a point. Oh. I, I I get oh, yeah. it. Thank, right. you, Thank you, my Thank you, Thank, Thank you. To help me produce more videos like these, support me on Patreon or PayPal.